Hello and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan and today it is March 5th, Saturday of 2022 and behind me here we have a brand new 2022 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1900 RD. I'm going to take you guys around the outside, show you the inside and down in the comments below you can let me know what you think. Otherwise first things first, looking at a couple specs of this unit, it comes in at 22 feet long and it weighs in at about 3,639 pounds. So definitely half ton towable. A couple of bigger SUVs will be able to pull this as well. Now we'll start over here. One side of your pass through storage. And then we'll get to the other side. In the meantime, you notice this entire unit. It's fiberglass make. You got a nice big rock guard up front here. Your power jack tongue. Two 20 pound propane tanks. Upon purchase, you get that deep cycle 12 volt battery. If you look right there, you'll notice a solar panel. And not only down there, you also have another plug right there. That is because this unit comes with the SolarFlex 200. So that basically means you got a nice big 190 watt up there. You had option to add another, and then you can also bring a portable panel as well. And all that solar feeds into your 15 amp solar charge controller. You got inverter prep right here. So again, if you plan on boondocking, you have enough sunlight, you have the ability to do that. But if you're connected to shore power, maybe not something you want to upgrade to, but they give you that option if you need to. Here are your electric jacks. Touch of a button. You can put those down on all four corners of your unit. Otherwise, you have your fresh water connection, city water connection right there, your gas electric hot water heater. You have your black and gray dump tanks right there there's your 30 amp shore power Got a little bit of storage right here easy access to maybe get some chairs you can probably fit a half a dozen lawn chairs right there come around the back side to prep for a backup camera full-size spare tire huge window which you get to look out of when you're on the inside and it's tinted for people trying to look in. That'll help, you know, keep you in a little bit cooler in the summer with all the heat trying to get in. Otherwise, you have outlets right there. You got a big awning for doing everything in the shade. You got two outdoor speakers, LED lights. Nice little exterior. Cool graphics right there. But enough about the inside. Outside, let's jump inside. Like I was talking about, Solar Flex 200. If you literally Google Keystone Solar Flex 200, you'll get a PDF or a web page that'll walk you all through the ins and outs of that. But if you want to talk about it, please feel free to give me a call at 507-923-5675 if you don't want to do all that. Up front here, you got your fixed bed, bathroom, kitchen, and then your 1900 RD, as in rear den. Right in the entryway, you have your controls. Pretty basic, your tanks awning, lights, water pumps, things of that nature. Here's your fixed bed that has storage not only to the side but also above. Got a big window right there for getting out of bed in the morning. And you got outlets hidden down there, charging your devices. And here's your wardrobe for hanging some clothes. Otherwise, you got a little bit more storage beneath your bed. If you want to question the build, Tell me another bed that has that underneath it and its framework. Otherwise, here is going to be your bathroom. Get a porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice sink, plenty of countertop space. Your bathroom necessities, outlets, bathroom fan, medicine cabinet, and a big tub shower. So you don't drag all the water out if you dry off in there. As for across from your bathroom, you're gonna have your kitchen. You got a two burner gas stove top, your microwave up top, and a big sink here for doing all the dishes for all the food you make. You got storage above and just as much below with a view out towards your campsite. Otherwise, for the rear den, actually, before we get to that, your cold food is gonna be stored in this Dometic gas electric refrigerator. If I can open the door, there we go. 
There's your fridge. There's your freezer. If you didn't have enough storage in the kitchen, got a bit of a pantry right here at the adjustable shelves, which is right above your breaker box. Or as that outdoor storage makes for a countertop when you get to the inside right up below your emergency escape window. More storage above. And here's your rear dinette. Maybe it's not rear den, rear dinette. You have storage under each of these shelves. I'll be honest, it's not the easiest to get at, seeing that you have to move the pad, then pull up, but if that's too hard, not too, it's not, that's too much effort. Uh, I'm sorry, the, there's no way I can help you out there. So when you do want to break this down into a bed, if you have some extra gas, you can do so just by busting that down and adding the pads from over there in the corners. Otherwise, when you're sitting back at this dinette, you have plenty of viewpoints all around your campsite. Granted, I have the shades down, but when you have them open, you can see plenty far. Then if you want the best seat in the house, I think I'm sitting at it because not only will you put your TV right there, but again, you have the views of the campsite out the back and out the side. TV, see what's being made for dinner. Not too shabby. I suppose that side wouldn't be too bad either, but to each their own. That AC right here, that's gonna be centralized. Just because it's a smaller unit doesn't take all that much to cool down in those hot summer months. Again, this is the 2022 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1900 RD rear dinette, rear den. It's up to you. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call at 507-923-5675. I look forward to hearing. Otherwise, take it easy and have a great rest of your day. Bye, folks.